We've heard a lot about secouterie, kind of the replacement from the cheese board and charcuterie board into something that's from the sea. And as my friend Alexandra Cousteau has said, we've got to start to think about how we can be contributors in the foods we eat rather than consumers. So take a look at my secouterie. It includes all of my friends from the sea that have helped me to build my sea pantry. So we start off first of all with Oceans Natural. And I've talked about them before, but we're talking about a species specific, catch method specific type of albacore tuna that's flavored with olive oil, jalapenos, peppers. And we've got these all in here. Just pop open the can and put them out because there's so much artistry in how beautiful they are right in the can. And you can just put it out with little forks and people can dig in. The other things that I have that are stunning, I've got a little bit of quarry arctic smoked salmon that I've just done with a little bit of fresh dill. We've also got barnacle bull kelp and I love, I'm just obsessed with the textures that this bull kelp is bringing my secouterie. A little bit of smoked trout from Idaho, which is so delicious. And then take a look here. I can, I can add in some main seaweed chips. I've got a little bit of beet chips. Of course, one of the things that's so good, that balance of flavor with our fish is also briny things. So I've got pickled asparagus, pickled green beans, a little pickled carrot, and then of course, some of my favorite cheeses. And what my goal was, was that we'd all come up, we'd build these beautiful little breads, crackers, and secouterie all together, sprinkle it with some of our little seaweeds. This one from Spring Tide has a little bit of spice to it. Of course, we always love this forest kelp crunch from Salmon Sisters. All of the things that it takes to build a delicious, afternoon graves.